What is going on everybody? Today I'm going to be sharing a little quick video talking about how I'm going to mount my uh, new Hummingbird Helix 9 onto my kayak. Um, I experimented with a lot of things. I initially thought I could just screw the bracket directly into um, my kayak. I could not find a place where the pedals wouldn't hit the uh, screen. So I did some looking and I came up with this. So what that is is the um, Hobie makes a 1.5 inch uh, ram ball adapter um, which goes along with just your standard old marine ram mount which I will um, mount to the gimbal and then put where the mast hole is in the front of my kayak. So we'll see how that works. I'm just going to unbox this stuff real quick for you and then we'll go throw it in the kayak uh, just kind of a quick video um, talking about how this will all work um, there's the, the ram ball basically it snaps in like that you uh, you'll pull and it'll snap into that uh, into that mast hole um, so pretty easy on that and then obviously we have a ram mount which is a pretty a, a very very common mount for for a uh, especially a hummingbird or any fishing electronics um, and I'm just kind of showing how this is all gonna work not uh, not my giant giant oversized hummingbird. <laughs> Don't ask me why I got such a big hummingbird. Cool. Alright, so I think this one and a half will be just fine as far as size. Basically, the part we won't need. Yep, that works fine. Cool. The part we won't need is this guy right here. So what we're gonna do is just attach the the RAM plate to this, to the bracket, and then put it like that. And then this will go directly onto my kayak in there. Um, but first, I have to screw the bracket to the plate. So let's uh, let's go get that done. Bada boom, bada bing. There it is, um, all attached up. It is surprisingly the one inch ram ball is surprisingly more sturdy than I thought it was going to be, or one and a half inch. Um, it does not feel like it's going to move around. Uh, but I'm going to run out, I'm going to throw this on my kayak, show you guys what it looks like and uh, how I'm going to um, run that wire up through there to get to the back. So let's go run out to the yak and uh, and uh, check it out. Alright, going to do a little bit of voiceover over this part just because there was a bunch of fans going and stuff so I just wanted to make the audio sound a little better but basically right here you just see me screwing it in. Um, you just screw from the screw on the top and it uh, tightens, it opens up that thing and doesn't allow it to pop out. You can just take the screw out at the end. Mounts super easily, super nicely, super sturdily. I love how that thing goes together right there. So pretty easy. And here you can see the helix sits up there nicely, super solid, doesn't move around too much. Great setup so far. Can't wait to get this thing out on the water. All right, everybody. Well, as you can see, mounted that up real easily. Not too much of an issue there. Uh, love the way it works, love the way it sits. So that definitely seems like a good solution if you're looking for a good spot to mount your Helix. So I will have um, the parts linked down in the description uh, if you wanna check those out. Definitely, uh, definitely exciting little project. I know the videos have been a little bit, um, I don't know, they haven't been, they've, 
it's it's been tough to get content recently that's why i've been doing a lot of kayak videos just because i can um as you can see i uploaded a video yes two days ago um about actually going fishing and you know the fishing just isn't that good right now um the pike trip that we normally go on this time of year kind of been postponed because of uh, water temperature been a little cold so i'm gonna try to get out this weekend see what's going on see what's happening and uh i'll let you know but uh for now I'm just gonna have to check out some kayak videos so if that uh, if that interests you please subscribe so yeah thanks for watching